Hello there, students of Henry Marsh Elementary. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Trevia. I'm one of the quality coordinators here in the perioperative services department of VCU Health, which is actually a part of our surgical division. Uh, today, what we have done, since we're unable to do a hands-on face-to-face uh, -face career day the way we would like, we are doing a virtual career day. Uh, so what you will see in this upcoming video is a variety of individuals um, in our department in different roles who just want to share a little bit about um, their jobs and their paths um, to getting there. So just sit back um, and enjoy and I hope that something said here today just gives you something to think about as you grow up. Hi. I am a student worker at VCU Health. I am studying in, at Virginia Commonwealth University and I'm studying biomedical engineering. So as a student worker at VCU, I get to get, get to go to different surgeries. Being a student worker here, I get to explore like different kinds of fields in medicine, as in like if someone has a heart patient, it's like cardiology or ortho, which is like bones. So I get to see different kind of things and every day it's a new thing. So this makes me want a surgeon in future and this helps this job helps me a lot with that. So I hope you guys should consider doing a student worker position in future. Enjoy a quick peek in one of our ORs at VCU Health Surgery Center. And next we have one of our certified surgical technologists showing us how to get ready for surgery here at VCU Health. Also doing the same thing, drying, keeping my hands away from my body. And then switching to do the other side. I put that down because that's dirty. Pick it up my sterile gown. Putting on as much of it as I can without touching the gown. And then I'm doing an open glove method. Gown, uh, glove in and gown myself. And I'll pick up the next glove and put that on. So now I've got both my gloves on. Now I've got my gown and gloves on. I'll wait for someone to tie me up. And I can help with that. <laughs> um, different cases are set up different ways. Right now we're doing uh, a Cisto case. I'm opening up my Cisto tray. And I will pick it up sterilely. And then someone will actually check my tray to make sure it's good. Debbie, can you check that for me? Sure. And Debbie, would you tell them what you're looking for while you're checking? Make sure that the package the drape don't have any holes in it. Well, then it would be contaminated. Yes. And we can't was. use it for surgery. That is right. So since she told me that drape is okay, I'm gonna set my tray down and I'll pick up my next tray. We're gonna use a sister scope and a camera. So this is actually a camera. I'm attaching the camera head so that the actual scope will actually fit down in there. Let me show you the scope. We'll attach the head of the scope into the camera, and that's how it'll be used. This tray has graspers that'll fit down in there and open up. We call them working elements. Also, we have a light to work. And in order for the camera scope to work, you have to have a light attachment. Attachments for the camera cord. Attachments for the scope and we'll be running water. So I have all those items that I need put right here. We also use something called a sleeve. These are the gowns for the surgeons. And I will gown them as they come in. And I'll use their gloves to glove them, along with drapes to go over the feet and over the bottom of the bed. That's about all we use for the system. Well, thank you for sharing thank with everyone. You. I'm sure the kids will be happy to kind of see a little bit about what goes on I in know, the water. Right? So thank you, Cassandra. You're welcome. Okay.
Hello everybody, my name is uh, Ron Daniel. I'm an anesthesiologist here at VCU uh, Medical Center. I've been an anesthesiologist for close to 20 years. Um, I did my training here and as well as doing a specialty training in neuroanesthesia and trauma anesthesiology at the University of Maryland. One of the things that uh, a lot of anesthesiologists will tell you as to why they went, in, they went into the field of anesthesia is because it does provide what we refer to as an immediate satisfaction and immediate gratification in seeing our patients um, be satisfied with you know, what, we, what do we do. That is putting patients to sleep, providing pain medication, and to help provide comfort during their surgery. And so one of the things that continues to um, excite me about the field of anesthesia is the opportunity to meet patients often for a short period of time where I have to uh, have the patient trust me and feel comfortable that I'm going to take the best care of them. And that provides a huge satisfaction, particularly as sometimes these patients are often very scared and often afraid of what the surgical procedure may entail, as well as the anesthesia. Hi everyone, um, my name is Iris. I'm one of the lead care partners here. Um, my sole job here is to help patients get ready for surgery. I bring them back, I explain the room, um, we help them to understand what their uh, procedure is, and then I prep them for, for their surgery. Um, I start IVs and get your vital signs, and then, you know, just be there for the patient wherever they need me to be. Um, so, basically, this is my room. This is where I live most of the time, and um, the patients will stay here. And that's pretty much it. Um, I really love what I do. I love patient care. I develop a great relationship with my patients and their family members, and it's, it's awesome. I really do love it. All right, guys. Y'all have fun. Katie Roberts. I am an injury prevention specialist with VCU Health. Uh, in the OR specifically, we deal with a lot of employee um, injuries and looking to how we can prevent them, specifically through ergonomics, body mechanics, looking at um, processes and things we can do to help keep employees safe at work. Um, so how did I get here? So uh, it's kind of a crazy thing. A lot of people that work in this position have backgrounds in kinesiology, um, uh, exercise physiology. I have, uh, I went to school for athletic training, uh, then went to get my master's in uh, sport management. I've been an athletic trainer for 12 going on 13 years. Uh, I like that no two days are the same. Uh, I know probably a lot of people in the OR say that, but you know, one day you could go up and watch a surgery where a surgeon has to stand for eight or plus hours. So how do you make them comfortable? How do you educate about recovery after that eight hour surgery? The next day maybe we have a patient who um, is gonna require six or seven people to lift them. How do we implement a mechanical lift rather than requiring everyone and then getting everyone trained on that? Um, or just let's put a process together on improving something that's already existing but making it more efficient. So no two days are the same. It's always really crazy, but in the best way possible. <laughs> nurses at VCU Hospital. Um, I work in the perioperative unit, but I found out I wanted to be a nurse when I was in high school. Um, what inspired me was a home health nurse that was just so compassionate and so generous and so hands-on with her patient. I love working at VCU Hospital. There are a lot of perks to it, a lot of learning. It just grows me inside to become a better person. And um, I want you to be a nurse as well. We need more nurses. And I will see you hopefully taking care of me. Hi, my name is Alice. I'm a nurse here at VCU. Alice, tell the kids a little bit about why you decided to become a nurse. 
Uh, well, I've always been the mother hen of my friends and family, and I always loved taking care of everyone, and making sure everyone was well, and um, I just love helping other people. Yeah. What do you find is the most challenging about being a nurse? <sighs> Different uh, personalities, uh, people, and having to be patient and understanding of everyone's personality um, and needs and wants. Yeah, I think that's the most challenging. Okay. And what about, what is it that really motivates you and makes you excited about being a nurse? Um, the positive feedback that I receive from patients and family members, it's always, um, you know, it's rewarding and it makes me feel like I wake up every day and I'm grateful to be doing this. Um, but here we get uh, patients ready for surgery, uh, big surgeries, small surgeries, and um, make sure that they are prepared and have um, you know, we start IVs and we give them medications and make sure that they're safe to go back for their um, operation. It's just great to be a nurse and it's a great profession. Thank you. <laughs> you got to say hi to the people. Hi. 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 Hello everyone, today I have with me a perioperative education nurse who's going to talk a little bit about her role and what she loves about it. Mayron, would you talk to the children about what you do here in perioperative services? Hey guys, my name is Mayron Platt-Shumper. I am a perioperative educator at VCU Health Systems. I've been here for about three years, going on four years, but I've been an educator for probably about 10, 12 years. I really like doing it. Uh, the role involves me instructing and teaching here in the clinical area as well as any new people that come. So what does that look like? Well, I kind of help them, first of all, get around the building. And then once they do get around the building, it's getting them acclimated to the environment. Uh, what it is that they'll be doing here uh, during in the uh, many services that we have here. Uh, and then just making sure they understand what their role is. Uh, uh, we have circulators, we have scrub nurses, we also have um, other uh, people that work in the environment. Uh, so with that, we teach them all the stuff that they need to do. We have a perioperative internship program where we take brand new nurses uh, and we teach them how to be OR nurses. We teach them how to scrub their hands and put on gowns and gloves. And we also teach them how to work the room, take care of the patients and make sure that their safety is first. So that's pretty much what I do. Well, thank you, Mayron. What would you say you love the most about your job? What I love the most is the people. I really do. I love interacting with people and uh, trying to make them feel comfortable in this environment. So that's what I really love. So if you love teaching, this is something you should really consider. Hi, good morning. My name is Yolanda Russo-Menna. Uh, I'm a physician and I practice at VCU Health. Uh, since 2001 as a pediatric anesthesiologist. Um, my specialty is a very intrigued one. Uh, I take care of children, anesthesia for them, and I have studied after medical school uh, four years of um, residency in anesthesia and one year of fellowship in pediatric anesthesia. That allowed me to practice today and in the past uh, 20 years, the specialty for pediatrics. What we do for our small or little patients, uh, we try to comfort them and explain to the parents how important is the anesthetics and all the potential risk and problems they can encounter. And also the benefit, the good things that we can do for them. They're not gonna remember any things, they're not gonna feel pain, uh, they are completely under a deep sleep for as long as the surgery is going to happen. I really love my job and I really invite you to explore, first of all, the way to be in the medical system of any kind, especially as a doctor or nurses or any other uh, way to participate in, in the health and helping others. Hope that this information will be useful for you and I hope that one of you, at least 10% uh, of your class in your high school, uh, will dedicate a study on a science, which is the future and it's very important that you guys study everything in biology and understanding how we function, how we work, and so maybe one of you one day will become a doctor and learn.
universe. Thank you, Gloria Dutton. Thank you so much for giving us a chance to share our professions with you today. We just want you to know that if we can do it, you can do it too.